John Cavern here with PadPrinters.com. So we're done printing and now it's time to take down the machine at the end of the day and do some cleanup. There is a video that details ink up cleaning so I'm not going to do that here but I'll show you how I break the machine down at the end of the day. First thing is uh, turn off the power, open up your safety guards and I remove the pad. So I take the pad off, if there's any ink and stuff left on there, again, I'm just gonna clean it with tape. That's it, all you need to do on the pad. And then now I need to remove the ink cup and cliche. So first thing I do here is I put a finger on top of the cup just to hold it down in case. And I'm gonna actuate the pressure pin back up out of the cup. Then once that's up out of the way, I come back here and loosen the screw for the keyway and this guy this assembly now should slide out of here so here is my cliche with the ink ink cup on it and once you get in this position um, what I did is from when I mixed up ink earlier today um, I kept my cup and the reason I did that is because I like to use it when I go to clean up. They do stink a little bit, that's why I had a cup on top of it. So if you have a cup on top like that, it just keeps some of the solvent in the cup from getting all over in the air. When the cup's in the machine, you really don't smell anything. It's when you're mixing ink and cleaning up that you're gonna get solvent smell in your shop. So some people prefer to ink up and clean up outside of the press room if there's people in there uh, that are sensitive to the smell. But even people that are sensitive to the smell after a couple weeks, don't really notice it anymore. So uh, these inks are non-toxic. They're not hazardous as far as, um, you know, the, the fumes and things from them. So even though people don't like the smell of it, it's not dangerous. Uh, once you get it out though, with a 90 millimeter cup, what I do is hold the cup and flip the cliche upside down like this. And then I slide the cup off the edge like so, trying to get as much ink as I can to remain in the cup. So I've got some on the plate. And then I have my old cup I mixed up in earlier. I still have the tongue depressor in there. I'm just gonna set the cup on here like this and let that drain as much ink as I can out of there. I'll take Kleenex, acetone, I'll clean up my cliche, and then I'll clean up my ink cup. Again, there's another video that details ink cup cleaning separately, so I'm not gonna do that here. One thing I do want to explain here, though, in more detail is a little trick with cleaning up photopolymer cliches so that they don't stain. Acetone is effective at cleaning these, uh, cleaning these plates off, there's no doubt. Um, one thing that happens, though, with acetone is because it does dry so quickly, it's basically the main ingredient in nail polish remover, so if you've ever experienced that, you know how quickly it dries. I clean the surface of the cliche first with acetone. And then to make sure that I don't stain in the image area, what I like to do is take a pipette, one of these disposable pipettes, and it works best if you have a, a slow speed thinner or we call it a retarder. So it's just a thinner that that's dries more slowly. This is the thinner I used when I when I inked up the plates here earlier. I'm going to apply a little bit of that right on the image area using a pipette and I'm going to just let it sit there. This is the point where I would go and detail clean my ink cup. So the ink cup's been sitting here draining. While I'm cleaning that I leave this sit here. Then I come back with a clean tissue and I'll take a little bit more, drop a little bit of that retarder on the tissue and then I'll come in here and just wipe the image area a little bit more. And you can see there's just a slight bit of black on that paper that I took out after having cleaned it already with acetone. So what that does is it gets the stain out of the plate. And it's important to do that because uh, if you clean with acetone alone by itself and you don't clean secondarily with some thinner like that to let it soak out, each time you stain the cliche, you can be making that etch depth a little bit shallower and shallower until over time, you're just not picking up the same amount of ink you were when the plate was new. 
So that's a little demonstration of how to properly clean a photopolymer cliche. Thanks.